Back, my dear life folks, to another review of Boku no Greatness, aka Boku no Goat, aka Boku no Hero Academia, aka My Hero Academia. This chapter was great. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the Light Bulb Army. The first point I want to talk about is the main point of this chapter in general, which is Hiroshima's backstory. I will not try to recap too much about it since you already read the chapter. So let's get this started. Um, so basically. As we all know, Kirishima looks up to the hero of the past named Crimson Wright. We do not know if he's either dead or alive. Um, in the Academia verse, if I had to guess, he's probably died a long time ago because he's probably one of the Golden Age heroes. So basically, Crimson Wright's ideology is like, oh, forget about your quirks, um, train your body. Like He basically viewed quirks like as an extra thing and Kirishima was doing the same thing. He was training his body a lot because as a young kid, he had very hard difficulty controlling his quirk. And not only Kirishima, if you look back in some chapters, Togata, when we got his backstory alongside Tamaki, they had difficulty controlling their quirks as well when they were younger. And I think that has to do, one, with you're young, your body's still developing, so your quirks should also be developing with your body, so it's harder to control. But with practice, as you keep aging, then of course you're going to have more mastery of the quirk. And the same could be applied to Kirishima. So that's one point um, that I wanted to mention. The second point is that Kirishima, even though in the present time, he moved out of fear and stuff to protect Fatgum because he saw a glimpse of hope in Fatgum. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Kirishima's character has progressed. In his the backstory, the flashback, we see him as a kid not defend two girls from a villain that the villain is harassing them and could possibly kill them because they were not giving the villain directions to the hero office or whatever. He changed. He became a better person. Kirishima became a stronger person. He became a more manly person, just like Crimson Riot. Because even though his body moved out of fear in the past, his body did not move at all. His mind wanted to move to save those girls to combat that villain, even though he was just a middle schooler that could not control his quirk and his heart was probably beating out of his chest thinking about that. But when he probably was thinking, move body, his body just froze because of it, it's a fight or flight, meaning response that his body gave. The body could have chosen to fight the villain or to run away or do nothing. And... In the end, Kirishima was just stunned with so much fear when he was younger against that villain um, that he didn't do anything. But now, his fear was still there. But you know what? His body moved. This shows character progression. I know a lot of people might think, oh, well, Kirishima in the past was just a scaredy cat or whatever. No, he wasn't. He was a young kid. If majority of us were put into that situation, we don't have full control of our quirks or whatever, we are aiming to be heroes, okay? And when you wanna fight a villain that could possibly kill us, you might be thinking, ah, oh, I'm gonna be like Crimson Riot, cause that's um, Kirishima's role model as a hero, and I'm gonna run there and stop that villain. But no, his body just didn't, his heart was probably pumping, he was probably paralyzed with fear because it's a villain. It's not like, oh, the villain's just gonna be like, hey, I'm not gonna do anything to you. The villain might, could possibly kill you and there was no heroes around. So that added another um, um, stimulant to the situation and stuff. So, no, Kirishima is not a coward. Kirishima is definitely progressing as a character. Horikoshi does an amazing job showing Kirishima's progression. And I definitely do see Kirishima now after reading all these chapters dedicated to him and stuff, his backstory, he's definitely my top five. And it was sad to see that Kirishima, even in the beginning of the early chapters of this manga, he always had this, you know, booming personality, this manly personality, this outspoken personality that even Fat Gum commented on, that even Tamaki commented on. Like he shined very bright like the sun, but deep down inside, he felt that he was holding everybody back and that was so sad. But I definitely see his character molding into what he wants to be. A hero with a strong heart, just like Crimson Riot. Overall, I'm going to give this chapter an 8.5 out of 10. In the comment section below, tell me what you thought about this chapter. And always, remember to have a great day. Peace.